Praise the Lord everyone. Today let us know about the people who demonstrated faith in God and grew spiritually from the Bible. Today's our topic is Role of faith in God to grow spiritually. Faith in God is a cornerstone of spiritual growth in many religions including Christianity. The Bible, particularly the Old Testament, is filled with examples of people who demonstrated faith in God and through their faith grew spiritually. In this podcast, we will explore the role of faith in God in growing spiritually using examples from the Old Testament. First, Abraham. Abraham is one of the most prominent figures in the Old Testament, known for his unwavering faith in God. In Genesis 12:1 to 4, God calls Abraham to leave his home and go to a land that he would show him. Without hesitation, Abraham obeyed, and as a result, God made a covenant with him, promising to bless him and make him the father of many nations. Abraham's faith in God's promise was unshakable, even when he was tested by God in Genesis 22, where God asked him to sacrifice his son Isaac. Despite the seemingly impossible request, Abraham trusted in God and was willing to follow through. and as a result god blessed him even more through abraham's story we see that faith in god is about trusting in his promises and being willing to follow him even when it doesn't make sense or is difficult abraham's faith in god not only resulted in his own spiritual growth but also led to the birth of jesus who is the savior of the world second moses Moses is another great example of someone who demonstrated faith in God and grew spiritually as a result. In Exodus 3, God calls Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, but Moses initially doubts his ability to do so. However, through God's guidance and Moses' willingness to obey, he becomes one of the greatest leaders in Israel's history. Moses' faith in God was tested time and time again, but he always trusted in God's plan. For example, in Exodus 14, the Israelites were trapped between the Red Sea and the Egyptian army, and Moses had to choose between trusting in God's promise of deliverance or giving in to fear. Moses chose to trust in God, and as a result, God parted the Red Sea and allowed the Israelites to escape. Through Moses' story, we learn that faith in God is about trusting in his plan even when it seems impossible. When we trust in God, we can overcome any obstacle and grow spiritually in the process. Third, Joseph. Joseph's story is one of betrayal, slavery, and ultimately redemption. He was sold into slavery by his jealous brothers but eventually rose to power in Egypt becoming second in command to Pharaoh. Through it all, Joseph demonstrated unwavering faith in God even in the darkest of times. In Genesis 50, 20, Joseph tells his brothers, "You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives." Joseph's faith in God allowed him to see beyond his circumstances and trust that God was working all things for good. Through Joseph's story, we learn that faith in God is about trusting in his sovereignty and believing that he is always at work even in the most difficult situations. When we trust in God's plan, we can grow spiritually and be used by him to bring about good in the world. Fourth, Daniel Daniel is another great example of someone who demonstrated faith in God and grew spiritually as a result. In Daniel 1, Daniel and his friends are taken into captivity in Babylon, but they refuse to defile themselves by eating the king's food. Instead, they trust in God and ask to be given vegetables and water. As a result, God blesses them with knowledge and wisdom. 
and they become some of the wisest and most respected advisers in the king's court. Daniel's faith in God was also tested when he was thrown into the lion's den in Daniel 6. Despite the threat to his life, Daniel continued to pray to God, and God miraculously saved him from the lions. Through Daniel's story, we see that faith in God is about standing firm in our convictions, even when it's difficult or unpopular. When we trust in God, He will bless us with the wisdom and courage we need to navigate challenging situations and grow spiritually in the process. Fifthly, Esther. Esther's story is one of bravery and faith in the face of adversity. Esther was a Jewish woman living in Persia during the reign of King Xerxes. When the king's advisor Haman plots to kill all the Jews in the kingdom, Esther risks her life to speak to the king and plead for her people. Esther's faith in God was evident in her willingness to trust that God had put her in a position of influence for a reason. In Esther 4.14, her cousin Mordecai tells her, And who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this? Esther trusted in God's plan for her life and was willing to risk everything to save her people. Through Esther's story, we learn that faith in God is about trusting that He has a purpose and a plan for our lives, even when it's difficult or scary. When we trust in God, He will use us to bring about His purposes and grow us spiritually in the process. Sixthly, David. David is one of the most well-known figures in the Old Testament, known for his bravery, leadership, and faith in God. As a young boy, David defeated the giant Goliath, demonstrating his trust in God's strength and protection. Throughout his life, David faced many challenges, including betrayal and persecution, but he always trusted in God to deliver him. David's faith in God was evident in his many psalms and songs of praise, where he declared God's goodness and faithfulness. In Psalm 23, David writes, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. David's faith in God allowed him to experience God's presence and provision in a deep and meaningful way. Through David's story, we see that faith in God is about trusting in his provision and protection, even in the midst of difficulty. When we trust in God, we can experience His presence and grow spiritually in the process. Seventhly, Job. Job's story is one of loss, suffering, and ultimately, redemption. Job was a wealthy and successful man, but Satan asked God for permission to test his faith. In a short period of time, Job lost everything, including his family, his wealth, and his health. Despite his unimaginable suffering, Job continued to trust in God, declaring in Job 13:15, Though he slay me, yet will I hope in him. Through Job's story, we learn that faith in God is about trusting in his goodness and sovereignty, even in the midst of suffering. When we trust in God, we can grow spiritually and experience his redemption in our lives. In conclusion, the Old Testament is filled with examples of people who demonstrated faith in God and grew spiritually as a result. From Abraham to Job, we see that faith in God is about trusting in His promises, His plan, His sovereignty, His provision, His protection, His purpose, and His goodness. When we trust in God, we can overcome any obstacle, grow spiritually, and be used by Him to bring about good in the world. May God bless you.